So we'll just run through the ingredients. So we've got some lamb mince here, and then we have some gluten-free breadcrumbs. Uh, we've got some fresh parsley. We have some cinnamon seasoning from North Coast Smokehouse. We have some thyme and garlic, some feta cheese, and finally, we're using brighter gold as usual, but we're gonna use the infused with chili variety today for this recipe. So we're going to um, mix all our ingredients together for these really simple lamb and feta um, koftas. So we'll add in, we've got the lamb mince here. So add the breadcrumbs in. And then we've the mixed herbs, the parsley and thyme. And add the chopped garlic. Some smoked salt. Cracked pepper. Touch of cinnamon. Bit too much there. Good pinch of that. And finally, we add the feta cheese. That's it. And give it a good mix. don't need any egg to bind it so we'll just mix that in well and then we'll shape it into little balls and fry it off in the chili rapeseed oil. It's an ideal dish as an alternative if you're having a barbecue or summer dinner it's an ideal dish uh, it's a wee bit different from the burgers um, so or it can just be like used as a little starter Right, that looks good. So we're just going to shape the mixture into small little balls. And it's nice and easy. Now it's all mixed in. It's quite nice um, to serve these as a little starter, but also keeping them small helps cook them quickly and um, without any worries as to whether they're cooked through, especially if you're cooking them on a barbecue. Right, so we've got those shaped, the mixtures shaped into little balls and I'm just going to transfer them over to a hot pan with some oil and fry them off. Equally you can do them on the barbecue. Yeah. And the fact that they're nice and small it won't take long to cook. And the chilli oil will give them a little bit of that heat. There we are. So the lamb and feta balls are ready, they're cooked through, so now we're just going to plate up. We're going to serve these with some quinoa, but you can use rice, you can use some kind of potato or whatever you like, but today I'm just using some chopped, some quinoa and I'm going to add chopped mint and I've got some nice pomegranate seeds, so I'm going to put all that in there, so whatever you've got and I just think it suits the flavours, the kind of Middle Eastern flavours of the dish that we're serving today for kind of outdoor barbecue style with a difference. So that's lovely. So I've got some pita bread, which will go really nicely with the lamb. And we'll just pop our quinoa on this. Okay, and we'll transfer our lamb, which is ready. So yeah, they're nice and crispy. I'm just gonna pop them on top here. But the feta has actually held its shape, hasn't melted out, which is good. Another reason why it's good to keep them small. That's lovely. Okay, 
and then I've just chopped salad here and I've used my Turkish dressing. The recipe is on the blog, I've used it before. And I've just used randomly what we had. I've used the herbs that were left over. I had a bit of courgette left, some cucumber and tomato and some nice lettuce. Uh, but the dressing really makes this. So I'm just going to add this to the other side. Ready for serving. Add some lemon wedges, which will go down really well. The lamb and the feta. And then I've just got a small little Greek yogurt. Dip. I'm just going to pop in the side there. And there we have it. We have an alternative dish uh, for a nice outdoor lunch or dinner.